I never think about art of making food. I really think about what's in the market, what's in my garden, what is beautiful, what has a kind of life in it, and what uh, really speaks to me. I think the most important contribution that I've made is holding on to this idea of pure food. I never was looking for organic and local. I was just looking for taste. And I found organic and I found local. When I was young, when I went to Paris the first time, and I, I felt like I had never really eaten before. You know, my mother wasn't really interested in cooking. She had a big family and it was pretty much frozen food of the 50s. And then I went to these little French restaurants and to the markets. It made a big impression on me. And so when I came back, I opened a restaurant so my friends and I could have a place to eat. Ever since fast food came in in the 50s, um, it really has indoctrinated us in a particular way to do something fast, cheap, and easy. The cook was not valued, and the farmer was not valued. It was just sameness. We start thinking about that in everything that we do. We want entertainment like that. We want to build buildings like that. I think we really think that cheap is good and when it comes to food, that somehow we're getting a deal. We're a country that pays less for food and more for health care than any other country on the whole planet. It's why I'm focused on edible education, because I want children to begin in kindergarten. And if they grow up, in this way that's connected to the garden and connected to the pleasure of the table, then they will live like that. It's about an education of the senses, touching and tasting and opening those pathways to your mind. And I, I thought, well, if I had learned math that way, I, I would have remembered it. I am most excited about the possibility of creating an edible education that revitalizes every subject that we're teaching at school, that it makes it that much more fascinating to be involved in dramatic arts when we're doing improvisational cooking in the kitchen. They understand what's happening to the land. They, they're worried about their future, but they're, they have a kind of optimism. And I know that from 16 years of working at the Edible Schoolyard in Berkeley, if you grow food and you cook it yourself, you're going to eat it. I'm just really unwavering in my commitment to pure food. I'm just, I, I, I just I can't compromise.